Hi guys, it's Toad Mac here. Um, I don't know if you've seen in the news, Australia just got hit by a tropical cyclone on the west coast. Um, sort of went around Port Headland there. Come down, and as you can see, as it was coming in, I noticed it was dragging a lot of like uh, clouds and that from the uh, northern hemisphere. And so I had my suspicions that this would, I would get high readings. I haven't had any high readings for a long, long time. You know, you get the odd uh, 0.4 microseconds an hour, maybe a 0.6 every now and then. But um, anyway, as you can see, it's it, what it done. Dragged a lot of cloud and that from down here, up in here. And now as it's spun out, it's all come down here to where I am in Melbourne. So it's really, really light rain. Uh, you probably can't really tell, but it is. It's very, very light rain. There's no thunder or lightning or anything. I know people are going to say it's radon washout, but uh, I don't believe it is. Anyway, here's the test sample I took off the ute. What I do nowadays is I get as much dust as possible and wring the water out, wring the rain out. Holy crap, you can just tell that's going to be a high reading. Set on microseverts an hour. Uh, measuring uh, beta gamma. There's no plate on the back. It's a Pripyat guide counter. Old Russian one, but it uh, certainly measures fairly accurately. It still measures accurately ever since I got it. I've got two test samples, and they always come up. You know, within within um, probably three or four microseverts over a hundred microseverts. So it's you got a plus or minus about three, four percent. So it's pretty accurate. And as you can see, that's crept up over three microseverts an hour now. Uh, background was 0.13, fluctuating to about 0.18. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this can't be good for you.